Have you ever noticed a strange feeling when walking on a merry-go-round? If you have, think Coriolis acceleration, and we will use this video to explain it. But let's first study the velocities and accelerations, assuming you are walking toward the center of the merry-go-round. You have tangential speed equal to the rotational speed, omega, of the platform, multiplied by the distance from the center, r. You also have radial velocity that is equal to your walking distance speed relative to the spinning platform. Now let's look at acceleration. The tangential acceleration is given by the rate of change of rotational speed multiplied by the distance from the center. Also, there is a radial inward acceleration. This acceleration points toward the center of the disk. The radial acceleration is given by the square of the rotational speed multiplied by the distance from center. This is also known as centripetal acceleration. And finally, there is the third component of acceleration called the Coriolis component. Its value is given by, by two times your relative velocity multiplied by the rotational speed. It also acts in the tangential direction. One can think of the Coriolis acceleration as a result of the spiraling motion that you experience as you move away from or toward the center of the merry-go-round. In this animation, we see a particle moving at constant speed away from the center of the disk. We also see the spiral trace that the particle makes in the ground reference system. The relative velocity has been chosen such that the Coriolis acceleration, the red curve, is the same as the rotational velocity. At two seconds, we apply a brief disturbance to the rotational velocity, which ends at four seconds. During this video, the changing magnitude of all three acceleration components are shown by red arrows in the animation. After the disturbance, the tangential acceleration is zero because the rotational speed is constant. The Coriolis component is constant because both the rotational and walking speeds are constant. The normal acceleration, however, is increasing because the radial distance from center is increasing. Thus, in summary, we see that a special component of acceleration develops when there is relative motion on a spinning disk. This acceleration is named after Gustave Eustave de Coriolis, a French engineer and scientist. The acceleration was known prior to Coriolis, but he is known for popularizing its importance. It should also be mentioned that the Coriolis acceleration has the same value if the particle is moving in any relative direction, not just toward or away from the center. But its direction will always be normal to the direction of relative motion. Also, if the particle is accelerating or the track is curved rather than straight, additional components of acceleration will develop. 